Yeah, I've been talking to you about how the Lord has been taking me on this journey of preparing me to receive the bridegroom. A couple of days ago, I was driving to work and I was running five minutes late. And as I was contemplating being five minutes late and just really regretting my choice of lingering longer at home than I should have, I was like, Lord, I can't even ask you to bend time for me. I can't ask you to uh, slow down time. I can't ask you to teleport me there. I can't. I, I'm owning this. I'm owning this. I lingered longer in bed than I needed to. And then I messed around at home longer than I needed to on little things that could have waited till I got home. Anyway, my fault. I totally own it. Okay. Don't like it, but okay. And he goes, you know, this right here is exactly why the virgins that didn't have enough oil in their lamp missed the bridegroom because they weren't ready. They did not do what they needed to do to prepare for the day and be there on time and become fully equipped. And I find myself identifying with those virgins. They were all pure and yet they weren't ready because they hadn't done the work that they needed to do to prepare for the, to receive the bridegroom. So um, I found myself going, oh my gosh, this is one more thing that I need worked out in my life. Taking the Lord called me out, and at the same time that He was calling me out on that, and He was showing me how I was like one of the virgins who didn't have enough oil in her lamp, um, and how that I, if I'm not careful, then I could find myself in that same position of missing the bridegroom because I'm not ready, because I got distracted off of Jesus and the intentional purpose and what I'm here for, which is Him. Um, I could be left behind. I could miss his coming. And I, that just hits me to the core. And the same time this is happening on the radio, there's a song called Reckless Love. And I was so moved by that because here the Lord was, the lover of my soul was reaching out to me. And the father who calls me out and corrects me was correcting me. And he says, get your stuff together, get it straight, do better. And uh, he was saying, you know, I don't want to miss you either. Oftentimes, and I've said this so many times before, and I'll say it again today, what is going on in the physical realm is a direct reflection of what's going on in the spiritual realm. So if I have a problem with consistently being late and consistently being distracted and consistently pulled off track in my physical life, how is that reflected in my spiritual life? Whew, mm, that's uncomfortable. Oh, that's very uncomfortable. Oh, goodness, Lord. Anyway, his reckless love. Here he was chasing me down to get my attention and to correct me and to make sure that I am working this out, that I'm bringing it to him to be worked out. And no, he can't do it for me. I'm not asking him to do it for me, but I expect him to come alongside me and help me get through this and to do better. Um... I don't want to any longer be that person who's running five minutes late. I'd rather be early and have to sit there and camp out and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait until I'm tired and bored of waiting and still wait some more. I'd rather be that person instead of the person who is late and then miss out. I mean, that happened to me today. That happened to me today. Friday. That was Friday. Today's Sunday. I was running late this morning, missing out on things with the Lord and what? Oh, that eats my lunch. I don't like the idea of that. <laughs> I don't want to miss anything. Not one thing. Not one moment do I want to miss with the Lord. That's where I'm at right now. You're not in this alone. If this resonates with you, you are somebody who runs late all the time. Yeah, I pray for you all. And I encourage you to set as many alarms as you need to. Set the different sounds. Do what it takes to get yourself motivated to get up and get out the door. And ask Holy Spirit to come alongside you and say, Hey, can you get me up? Can you motivate me? Can you energize me? Can you fill me with that? that spring in my step. Give me that spring in my step to get up and get moving. And don't worry about everything else. All those little, those, those little nitpicky things, they can wait. They can wait. Do what you need to do. Get out the door. Get to work on time. Get to church on time. Get to that event that you promised and committed to on time. Um, be respectful. Be respectful of the people that are hosting. Be respectful to yourself and be respectful to the Lord in the time that is given to you to get these things accomplished. Anyway, I love you. God bless you.